right. <laughs> this planet is out of control crazy. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Outer Wilds, episode 15. Where we are trying to get to the Orbital Probe Station. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Oh, it's the Quantum Moon right off the bat. No, 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 no. We're not yet ready to figure out all of those types of mysteries. Instead... Oh, come on, come on, come on! Right. Let's chase this thing. Right, so we can already see it's missing. And I don't think it's in orbit. It's likely already fallen off. Let's... Let's verify. Make sure we got our suit on. Let's verify very quickly. Stand by, let's not do that. Let's... Let's free float over to the broken one which I think is over here. And we'll just, yep, we'll just take a peek right now, nice and early, at what the probe control module is doing and where it is. verify it's already really weird so I have a I have a pretty solid idea of where that thing is and I bet it found a counterclockwise tornado okay so let's spend some time getting to know Giants Deep I guess oh my goodness All right, let's make atmospheric entry. Nice and easy. This is it. This is an upward clockwise tornado. Whoops, okay, well. Fair enough. Let's try again. I kind of thought it looked a little bit like a counterclockwise one, but I was wrong, so no worries. Let's let's find a couple more places to land and investigate stuff, shall we? We haven't done much at all on this planet. Tornado gonna hit here, and do I need? To? Yeah. So let's let's get here. This will protect us. It really just throws us up into orbit. It's so crazy. I hope my ship is still okay. My ship is here. 
somehow, some way. Curious. Curious. This is it. We've finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it in the orbit around Giant Steep for assembly. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where other, many other attempts have not. Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avens behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. If I know my brother, Avens, and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible, I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. I propose we give Avens and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. So this is indeed the construction yard. We've been here before, uh, but we were over on that section of it, right? We went over here. Uh, is that something worth looking at over there? Hmm. I know not. Let's, let's see. I know we, I know we looked at this one. Six minutes, seven seconds ago, long range program successfully launched. So I think what we need to do is to just walk this thing around like this. And then, voila. Brittle hollow projection stone. I know, I know what I need to do. I know, I know, I, I know part of what I need to do. I need to find a projection stone that takes me to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, and then I need to bring it to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge to hear the conversation that took place between those two? No, because I could just as easily read that in another spot, right? I'm not sure. Let's see, if I put this here... What do I get? Kanoi, Daz and I were lifting the orbital probe cannon components in orbit and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Should have seen it. We thought it was impossible. It sh sank straight to the core. Convinced me not to try to recreate. Right. Right. We read this. Right, so if we put this here, I'm starting to understand how these projection stones work. Right, this is the observatory. What... I feel like... I already found a projection stone... I feel like I already found a projection stone once that referenced the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. And it would have been the same conversation had at that location. Which I don't think really told us anything. I think I'm missing something. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're done with this location. Let's try to find the beach with the Nomai statue on it. Right, this is the warp, this is the warp and return point. Alright, 
let's so this okay so we know that this is where Ash Twin teleports you if you go on the warp tower oh don't go down there don't go down there no I don't know if we'll be able to get back up to our ship if we do I didn't get to finish exploring the stuff over by Grobar. Hmm. What have we here? Okay. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? I really want to see the test too, Lammy, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flox will let us see a later test. Flox specifically told us not to do that. These scribbly ones are kids. So that's the core. That's the that's that's where the that's where it's at. It's at the core. Which I kind of figured kind of knew, kind of figured, kind of made sense. Let's try to hop through this a little bit and see if we can't get some traction. Uh, let's see. This is up high. We could always what, we could always try to land on the landing pad down below and see if that... Those are all clockwise. I have a feeling this counterclockwise tornado is at a very specific time at a very specific place. I think these are all spinning clockwise. And even if I could go in the counterclockwise tornado and get pulled down past the current to the core, that sounds absolutely terrifying. And how would you get back? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan of this planet. Really, at all. So let's go over here and see if... Aha! Aha! Ha! Ha! So there is a way to walk up there. But is there a way to get to... The underside? Oh, it looks like there is a door. Okay, let's go ahead and land here. So this is how you keep from losing your ship when a tornado would throw it otherwise, right? That's counterclockwise. That's a counterclockwise tornado, and it looks like it's coming right for us. No. Is it? It's hard to... Do we... Gosh darn it. Ask and you shall receive. That is a counterclockwise tornado, and if we want to do it, we have to go to it. Son of a gun. get electrically fried if we go down in there, right? Ooh! Exit ship to repair. 
Um. Really? No, you did not. No. I thought... I thought it was the, the jellyfish insulated from electricity, I thought. No, we don't we don't need electrical systems, right? We don't. What we need to do is find the the probe tracking location. Uh reactor damaged? Okay, um, I guess that's pretty significant. That's electrical. Where, this? This is a reactor? No. Oh! Ship hull breach detected, I see. So... So then really, what are we supposed to do at this point? If not just hang out in our ship and... and wait for the sweet abyss to take us. Man, that's... This is like... Are we drifting up to the current? What's happening? Oh, we are. Oh, we got pulled up. Oh, well, kind of. Nope, this is, this is the counterclockwise one that's going to throw us back down. So let's go to it. Right? There's not much we can do with a crashed ship. We're incredibly limited. I can't even... I guess if we would have stayed in our ship, we might have got pulled into it. Maybe we should go to our ship. Well, we could just keep using our fuel until it switches to our oxygen, and then... And then once it switches to our oxygen, then... You know... Just kind of out in the middle of the storm here. I don't necessarily want to just reset the time loop, but I'm starting to think that's our best option. I don't even know where our ship fragments went. Maybe there's more we can learn still. <laughs> it's gonna pick up this island and throw it. Yeet! <laughs> this planet is out of control crazy. Out of control crazy. I can't even... All right, let's... Ooh! It literally did that. It dropped... Wait, that scared... Wait a second. It dropped one island onto another? 
And that means that's got to happen every time, right? I'm a little curious about a few different things. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah. A lot of things. Orbital probe cannon. The broken remains uh, orbit around Giant's Deep. There are three access ways branching off from the central hub area. The orbital probe cannon was created to find the precise location of the eye of the universe. The Nomai pushed the orbital probe cannon above its maximum power setting to create the greatest chance of finding the eye in the universe. The control module recently received a request from the Ash Twin Project to launch the probe. The cannon was aligned with the randomly selected probe trajectory. The probe was successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised in the process. Damage is detected in multiple modules. Launch module is badly damaged, but its projection pool is still intact, and a mine named Mallow argued that it wouldn't matter if the cannon's structural integrity was compromised. They only needed to fire the probe once, and a mine named Privet countered that they wouldn't be capable of receiving the probe's data if the probe tracking module was destroyed. It's almost like they knew... They uh, they did this time loop on purpose, and the memory... Because they knew they needed to fire this probe a, a, a near infinite amount of times and blow up the star to get the power to do it, or... I don't... I'm, I think I'm, I'm close, but... One of the orbital probe cannon's three modules, the tracking module was receiving data from the launched probe. Any Nomai aboard the probe tracking module would be the first to see the coordinates of the eye of the universe... You know, my computer reports the probe track tracking module is missing. I saw the probe tracking module through into my projection pool. It looks like the module is underwater. Purple electricity. Yeah. Island is where the Namai built the orbital probe cannon. This. This is... A Feldspar documented their attempts to eat this enormous jellyfish frozen in the ice. The outside was all rubbery and tough, possibly because it insulates the jellyfish insides from getting zapped by electricity. Feldspar decided to venture into the jellyfish's interior cavity to see if it tasted any better on the outs on the inside. I have to go inside of a darn jellyfish, but I but the ship the ship got electrically zapped when I did ah, see the this island must be where the Namai created statues like the one in our observatory. Some of my children debated bypassing the statue's workshop door and sneaking inside via, via an alternate, more dangerous route. I can see into a large cave from one of the ruins on top of the island. The bottom of the cave is filled with water. Right. And then Amai built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. pilgrimage to the quantum moon was a deeply significant journey for the Nomai. After the two groups of Nomai stranded on Ember Twin and Brittle Hollow were reunited, it became their united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. Nomai built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Gabros lounging in a hammock. He found another my statue on another island. Remembers dying. They saw their memories flash before our eyes. We're the only ones aware of a time loop. Only ones that we know of. I'm not. Yeet. We took our time reading that, and I'm not giving that time. Nope. No, we're taking that time back, actually.
Pretty short memory. Okay. So what to do is the question. The Ash Twin Prod... Nope, I know. I know. Yep, there they are. Bing. The portals on Ash Twin have something to do with it, and they each correspond to a different location, but they made it sound like they would need access to all of them for something. Okay, okay. What we need is... Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay. What we needed to do is to get back to the Sunless City. So, let us begin here. With this. Because I have an idea. All right, so what we need to do... And there's still the matter of the Hanging City as well, which we have not really checked out. There's so much down here, I wonder if it's even worth exploring, or if it's better just to get where we're going. I think we'll just get where we're going, because I have a plan, and I need to stick with the plan and stop getting distracted, because there are so many things that I want to explore, and I feel fairly certain that I don't have to explore them all, but instead, just a certain number of them. probably really don't have to do anything except figure it out. And I have a fairly good idea of what's going on here. So, hold on. I know that the kids said if you feed the the um if you feed it a light, right? It makes it easier to see, so. Let's do that. And then, we're gonna come down here. Yep. High Energy Lab, Stepping Stone District, Anglerfish Overlook, Eye Shrine District. We're gonna go to the Stepping Stone. So, I'm trying to find the anglerfish. Climb through the anglerfish overlook hole. You'll have to go to the long way, but it isn't far. Go to the stepping stone cave, and then up in the fossil fish cave. Right. Stepping stone cave. That's the part that I don't think we have much of a frame of reference for. What is this? Stepping Stone Cave. There's a reason to go here. I know there is, and at first I'm like, why would I care, right? But I have...
had a thought. Okay, so... Oh, 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 I don't know. Step back, step back, step back. Yeah, there it is, there it is. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Maybe not, maybe not. I thought this would be... I thought this would be the way to my scout, but maybe... Let's open the door from this side. Maybe not. Are we playing the fossil fish game tonight? No. Um, hold on. Fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to the stepping stone cave, the entrance to the fossil fish cave is easy to see now. Oh, yeah. But why? Hmm. Okay, okay. Oh, no. But like, why would they have died here while they were playing? Whoever was it, whoever was it when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Rule change, the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. And Pi says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. It's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against one wall and the anglerfish says go. The little fish sneak across the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. The last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold. They're blind. See, that's... blind and then so you have to like sneak curious anglerfish study here we go this anglerfish's digestive tract suggests death by starvation visually the specimen appears to be of the same species as the anglerfish in dark bramble we don't believe it originated from this planet an update, Malore, while I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They've added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. I'm entirely delighted it's never too early to appreciate biology. The long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it used this growth to attract prey as a lure. But if they're blind, how are they on me so much when I try to go through that area, right? Because, make no mistake, when I try to go through there, they are on me. I tried going in with a ship. I tried going in without a ship. I think no matter what you do... See, I thought for some reason I'd be able to take... I thought for some reason I'd be able to take the the, the light off the anglerfish because they're territorial and use it to scare the other ones away. The little fish had to sneak across to the other side. They certainly saw me uh, pretty darn fast when I tried to sneak.
All right. All right, I think we need to revisit the things that we're being told to revisit. And specifically, Specifically, we need to try and get to the interloper before it flies into the sun. lake bed? Am I at the lake bed? How would I know? No, this is, um, took me to this new location. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or an exit. Yeah, this isn't it. Never before have I been so delighted to see. The rock carried me here. Seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings. Right, so it has to be dark. Like, it can't. But only in this cave do we get this, right? Because... Um, yeah, this is where they left. Some of us from the Sunless City are here to help. Right, we've, we've read all this. Uh, hold on. He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. The cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Okay, so I can use the North Pole as a tracking for this and see my position on the planet change. Uh, this really isn't the North Pole, but maybe. Vanished from the lake bed, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed of the North Pole, several days ago. Yeah. Same rock fragment we found at the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed. So we just keep doing this. But it seems like there's only three locations that it goes, even though the implication is that it goes to other places. Here, let's... Mm. This is... Yes, towards the dry lake bed. Right. cave at the dry lake bed at the North Pole, which we're quickly starting to fill up to. But it's bound to be here. Right? Unless it's already been covered up. Which I'm guessing it is. Uh, okay, so that would explain why it can't take me there to it. So if that's the case, let's get to our ship and let's go check out the interloper. We'll have to consider possibly going to the dry lake bed a little sooner. Oof.
Let's go. All right, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable, a little better at this jetpack thing. All right, without a moment to delay, let's find that interloper. All right, let's make sure we're not flying at the sun. Boom. And there we have it. Let's intercept the interloper. think it's about to make another pass by the sun. I almost think we should commit the rest of this time to just staying on the interloper until either it reveals its secrets to us or it straight up flies into the sun. Mm, is this going to be an okay trajectory if... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, let's cut it, cut it, cut it. It doesn't look a ton more... Okay, here, let's match trajectory, shall we? It is on its way back towards the sun. Okay, okay, all right, all right, let's... Take it easy. One side, one side. All right. I dare say we're okay here. Let's spend a second and look at this and see if we uncovered anything. And we did not. Okay, we did not learn anything new. Not, not with that little bit about the quantum stuff. We did learn that anglerfish are blind, though. Wait a minute. If anglerfish are blind, then they're completely able to activate and become quantum because they're always lacking in observation. It's hard to tell if we're getting farther away or closer. The orbit out here is so... But look at this. This isn't... The thing is, this fracture doesn't appear to be much... Like, it maybe a little, a little deeper than last time? Maybe... I wonder if there's something we can do to make it reveal its secrets to us. See, we're way out here, way out here passing the White Hole Station like this. And the sun's pretty red. I think this could be our last. This could be our last rotation, which means I'm no closer to figuring this out either. Maybe. Maybe we'll get one more. Hey, too bad we can't borrow one of those... We can't borrow one of those Hollow's Lantern... Um... No, that, that's that got to be a deeper fracture than before. It looks more pronounced. We definitely passed so close to the sun that there's all sorts of heat effects and everything. Let's here, let's let's get back to our ship on the other side before gravity just rips me right off of this thing and everything is for naught. We 
did freeze their ship here. No, it says perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the planet, but we've we've parked our shuttle on the bright side of the planet. We've seen what happens there. That's no good. So we have uh, more to check out at the Sunless City, which I think specifically... ...to a shelter site below the surface. Well, was that not the Sunless City? Was that... was it not? Mm, interesting. So we need to start looking for these question marks here, right? Statue workshop we need to get to. Probe tracking module. Subsurface energy readings. Let's see. That's Gabro, so we're coming up on a very close approach to Giant's Deep. Let's... Let's track that. Look at that. Everything... Unknown? Who have we not visited? Hold on. Look how look it's it's interesting how many of them lined up at once. Who have we not visited? I'm so curious. That's Feldspar. Hold on, hold on. We've got to go to the sunward side. We've got to check this out. Ooh, maybe not. Hold on. Okay, no, 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 no. Back to the ship. Back to the ship. Quickly. Come on. Get inside. <laughs> There, unknown. Who? So we flew right into the sun that time. We're missing something. something fairly significant. We'll have to try to figure it out in the next episode. Until then, take care.